mutant criminals are on the loose. And they are trying to hurt JJ and Mikey's family. So we need to build a secure prison to lock them up. Oh, no, Larry. When the sun goes down, those mutant mobs are going to attack. We need to build that prison right now. Yeah, you're definitely right, Pip. We need to keep Mikey and JJ safe. If those zombies come and we have nothing to stop them with, it's over for us. Oh, I don't want them to die. Neither do I, Pip. So how about this? Let's get started on building our prison. All right, Louie, so where do we need to start? Well, first of all, we need to build the actual prison build itself. <laughs> After all, if we have no prison to lock the mobs in, then what are we even doing? Oh, yeah, you're right, Louie. I'm working on the walls right now. Wait a second, Pip. Why are you building with coal blocks? That is not secure enough. Yeah, it will be secure, Louie, because it will be camouflaged. Maybe it will be camouflaged, but it won't be strong enough to stop some mutant criminals from breaking in. But I just had a weird question. Why would the prisoners be trying to break back into prison? Maybe they want to get revenge on Mikey and JJ for locking them up. Oh, yeah, Louie. We can't let that happen. Yeah, so let's build the floor of our prison. I'm going to build it out of this white concrete. This will also be what the walls will be made out of, too. Let's make this prison like a cool U shape. This will be awesome looking. Oh, I love YouTube shapes. YouTube shapes? No, Pip. We are building the prison in a U shape. All right, here we go. This is one side of the prison. This will be where we lock up all of the evil criminals. But now, let's build the main lobby area. Area. This floor section will be where we enter the prison. Oh, I can't wait to lock up all these evil criminals like that mutant creeper, the mutant zombie, and Louie's mom. What? You're going to lock my mom in prison? Don't do that, Pip. Yeah, Louie, why not? She's evil. Her cookies are suspiciously delicious. What? Her cookies? Yeah, her cookies are suspiciously delicious because they are delicious, Pip. Oh my gosh. Come on. Let's just keep building this prison wall. We need to hurry up. I'm going to build it up about this high. And then we'll use these stone bricks that will work as pillars to hold this thing together. Just to make it way more secure. Yeah, Louie. This prison needs to be the most secure prison in the entire World. Yeah, I definitely understand what you're trying to tell me, Pip. Look, we've almost built the area that will be the second floor of the prison. This looks pretty good, but now it's time to build up the walls. So I'll do that by using Pro World Edit Commands. Just watch this. I can type in this command called walls and then put white concrete. And boom, we built up the walls of this prison instantly. Oh, that World Edit Command is so cool. With the World Edit, we'll be be able to finish this prison in time before the mutant zombies attack. I know, Pip. This will be perfect. Mikey and JJ won't have a worry in the world once they come to our prison. But right now, what I'm doing is just finishing off the walls. As you can see, this prison has to be huge in order to hold a ton of prisoners. Look at that. I've just now finished the wall with all of these commands. Yeah, Louie. And this prison needs to be super tall because those mutant zombies are huge. Yep. We could also add a second floor to hold more prisoners, but not right now. Let's go ahead and add those iron bar windows, because after all, prisons have these crazy big iron bar walls. This is what makes up the cells inside. Oh, Louis, are you sure this is secure enough to keep the monsters in the prison? Definitely, Pip. These iron bar walls will definitely keep those prisoners stuck inside. And don't worry, that won't be the only defense. We'll add a bunch of secure traps to stop them from getting in and out. Awesome, Louie. I can't wait to build huge walls with barbed wire on them. Yeah, me neither, Pip. This is going to be the coolest prison ever. Look, I just now built up the first area of iron bars. We have two big windows on the front, but now we need a door to keep this prison secure. Kind of or should we build, Louie? Uh, can we add some stairs to the door? Of course we can. Look, let's make some really big doors. This way, we can walk all of those mutant mobs right inside and put them in prison. This huge door should work just fine. And just in case, I'm going to secure it with some of these stone bricks just going around like this. I think this should definitely stop them from getting inside. Oh, yeah, Louie. This is going to be a maximum security prison. 
Yep, it's going to be just like Alcatraz. Have you ever heard of that prison, Pip? Yeah, Louie. My dad spent two hours there. Wait, two hours? What was he doing in Alcatraz prison? Oh, he murdered so many dogs. Whoa, no way. That's crazy. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a massive area. And this will be a pathway leading up to the prison. I'll do this one out of smooth stone. Boom! That looks really cool. But I think just so that I can see the prisoners inside and make sure that they are staying in their cells, I'll add a big window right here so I can see into the prison from the outside. And also, in case I want to see outside of the prison, I can just stand here and take a look to see if any mutant mobs are walking inside. Let me just keep adding these iron bars and that should be perfect. I think I'll do the same thing on the other side. We need to make sure that we can see all of those mobs at all times. These prisons need to be super secure. I'll just do a very quick way of adding these iron bars. I'll put them round in a circle first and then I'll start adding them on like this. There we go. We have our prison walls and our prison windows. Now, I need to go ahead and add some decoration. After all, this prison has to look really cool because if it doesn't, Mikey and JJ probably won't want to spend the night inside of it. So let's add some plants. I'm going to get some leaves just like this and I'm definitely going to use these red and yellow ones. I think I'll also use some of these green ones as well. So just so Pip is happy, I'm going to add these yellow leaves all the way around the entrance just like this. That will make it look really nice. And so that JJ likes the prison, I'm going to go ahead and add these red leaves coming all the way down outside of the prison. And then finally, just so that Mikey likes the prison as well, I'll add some big green leaves to the front just like this. This prison is starting to look really cool. JJ and Mikey are going to love this. I'm loving it so far. I'm just now thinking I don't want any of these mutant mobs to be able to get inside unless they know the prison passcode. So I'm going to use one of these keypad doors. Wait, Louie, what is a keypad door? Well, Pip, I'm glad you asked. Look at this. If I place one down, it's just like an iron door, but it won't open if I try to put a lever on it. Look! Wait, but that's useless, Louie. That's not even going to open or close. Oh, really, Pip? Well, watch this. If I go up to the door, I can put a passcode in, which I'll just put as 1234. Now, if I retype the passcode in, the door will open. It's one of the most secure doors in Minecraft. Those mutant zombies and mutant mobs will have no idea what the code is, so they won't be allowed in. But now, to stop those mutant mobs from climbing over the top of these fences, I'm going to put some of these cobwebs webs, which will act as barbed wires. Look at that. This prison is starting to look super secure. But now that I've added the bottom floor, I'm going to add these stone bricks all across the roof. This will work so that I can add a second floor if I need to. Let's just go ahead and quickly place in all of these stone bricks. This looks awesome. Woohoo! And I think just to make this prison look more epic, I'm going to go ahead and add a second floor. How tall is this bottom floor so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'll do seven blocks like this. Now I just need to add another wall over here. And then we have a second floor. So I'll just set my walls to white concrete again and just do this throughout the entire of the upstairs of the prison. I'll do it over here and once again set it to white concrete and then do it again right here. Now if you guys will take a look at this, I have a second floor for the prison. Prison. This looks really epic. So now all I'm going to do is just hollow out these walls so that I have plenty of space to trap some prisoners inside. And finally, all I have to do is add some extra details. So what I'm going to do is add a really cool looking roof. This is where the guards will be able to stand and look out to see if there's any prisoners trying to escape. Let me just go ahead and build some stone bricks around the entire outside, just like this. And then I'll fill this in with stone bricks going around the outside of the roof. This will look really cool once it's done. Just you wait, guys. Oh, Pip! What kind of prisoners do you think we should trap inside of this prison? We need to make sure they are the most dangerous criminals in the entire history of mankind. Because if they aren't, what is the point of putting them in prison? Oh, Louis, we should 
trap a hundred mutant zombies in here? Oh, yeah, definitely. We could 100% fit a ton of them in here. Let me just add some more iron bars. We need the biggest windows ever. After all, those mutant zombies cannot get through iron bars. This prison is coming along nicely. It looks awesome. But I think just to make this prison look scarier from the outside so those mutant zombies don't want to come in, I'll add some iron bars around the entire roof. This way, just in case we need to, we can have guards with bows and arrows shooting from the top. It'll be epic. Hey, Louis, we should play Herobrine as our main archer on the tower. Wait, what? Pip, why would we do that? Herobrine is the one sending these mutant criminals to us. That would be terrible if we had to deal with tons of them. Louis, Herobrine isn't that bad. He's my building school teacher. Wait, what? Pip, you should know that Herobrine is a cold stone killer. He's evil. Yeah. He's evil, but he's a great builder, so it's okay, Louie. Oh my gosh, Pip, that is the craziest thing I've ever heard. Whatever, we need to keep building this prison up. I'm now just working on the roof. I'm going to get all of these stone bricks placed in all across this area. Let me just do it quicker with these pro world edit commands. So I'll do some stone bricks here, some stone bricks here, and finally some more all the way to this area. And now I think think that's the main building completed. This looks awesome. Uh, Louise, this doesn't even look like a secure prison at all. We definitely need to add some more walls to it. Wait, what do you mean, Pip? Uh, th there's plenty of walls on this thing, right? No, Louie, we need double thick walls to keep those zombies out. Okay, I guess that sounds like a good idea. After all, we need some big walls to keep those zombies away. Let me just go from one side of the prison prison to the other. I'll go just over here, I think. And now I should be able to set some walls to stone bricks. And let's see what that looks like. And boom! Look at that! We have this awesome wall around this entire prison. Pip, you know what? That was the best idea I've ever heard. Look, now add another set of barbed wires over here. This should be really dangerous for those zombies. They will not want to come in here at all. And these Massive walls will definitely keep Mikey and JJ safe. They will 100% want to stay in here. Look, they're looking at me. It looks like they're enjoying the build. I think I'll go ahead and make the entrance inside of these barbed wire walls a little bigger, just so we can fit inside. And now all I have to do is add these cobwebs all the way around to act as barbed wires, stopping these zombies from climbing over the walls. And the best part is it will slow them down too. So we will be able to shoot them from the top of our prison. Oh, these walls are so cool, Louie. It's definitely going to stop all those mutant crazy mobs. Yep, but the thing is, Pip, we're not only going to have one wall, but we are going to have two. And I'm going to make the second wall huge. Oh, you know what they say, Louie. Two is better than one. Yep, watch this, Pip. I'm going to reuse the command I used for that wall. And now we have a second huge wall. Oh, we're making this even more secure here by the minute. Now what I'm going to do is just open up this wall so we have a big space for us to walk in. This looks pretty good. I just thought of something, Pip. Now that we have these huge walls, what are we going to do? I mean, if those mutant mobs get in, they'll wreak havoc upon our prison. And it seems quite easy with these massive open walls. Wait, why don't we have a room for the warden on the wall? That's actually a really good idea. If we have a warden, a a prison guard, we should be able to stop those zombies from getting inside because we'll have an extra layer of defense. Let's go ahead and add an extra room just over here next to the entrance. This guy will check whether you're supposed to be in the prison or not, and he will be able to stop you if you're an evil monster. He's going to help prevent any monsters from breaking in. Yep, there we go. Let's give him a little iron fence so he can look outside if he needs to, but then also, let's add a a secure door so he can get in that room whenever he needs to. I'll just make it an iron door with a lever on the front, just like this. Oh, but Louie, our warden is useless if he's just sitting here. How about 
We add a camera monitor so he can watch all of the cameras in the prison. Oh, wait, what? No way! That could be really cool. That's a really good idea, Pip. How about this? Let's add some cameras around our entire prison. Let's just get some of these and put them everywhere. I'll put one on the front of this warden's area here. And all we have to do is set them up like this. Now, if I go to number one, look, I can see myself on the camera. Look how silly I look, guys. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Oh, ah. And look, Mikey and JJ are down there right now. Look, just take a look at the camera. Yeah, I'm even looking at myself, Louie. Hello, Pip. Hi, are you there? Get your ugly face off the camera, Louie. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What are you doing, Louie? I'm dancing. <laughs> what else does it look like? Oh, Louie, we need to stop dancing and start securing. All right, fine. I mean, after all, that sun is going down. Look, let's put some cameras on the corners of every single one of these walls. This way, we can see 360 degrees around this prison. Yeah, so that means if any monsters are coming, we'll see them from a mile away. That'll be easy peasy, Pip. But we should also add a camera just in this main hallway area coming up to the prison so we can stay inside and see if there's anyone coming. Like, good job, Louie. But I just realized our big wall doesn't even have any barbed wire on it. Good job, Louie. But wait a second. Our huge wall doesn't even have any barbed wire over it. Oh, those monsters can just climb right over. Nope, not on my watch, Pip. Come on, let's add a ton of barbed wire all over this thing. We cannot let any zombies get inside. JJ and Mikey need to be safe. Oh, there's no way those monsters are getting to JJ and Mikey. Not on my watch. Yeah, we are going to keep them super safe. And if you guys think our prison is going to be super secure and epic, then make sure to comment down below. And also like the video. <laughs> So here we go. We've just finished up our barbed wire wall. This is looking more and more secure by the second, Pip. But I just realized, what is a prison without any prisoners? We need to add some prison cells. But wait a second, Pip. We need to go ahead and add a pathway going all the way up to the entrance of our prison. So we know the way in. Let me just go ahead and set the floor to this really cool floor. Awesome! Oh, this would look so scary with a bunch of security guards. Oh, yes, it would, Pip. You are right. But also, it looks really good. So Mikey and JJ are going to totally want to go to this prison. Oh, Mikey and JJ are going to love this prison. But I really hope they don't get locked up in the prison. Oh, don't worry, Pip. We won't lock Mikey and JJ inside the prison, we will keep them in a VIP room in the back to keep them nice and safe and also happy. Oh, they'll be so secure. But speaking of secure, Louie, we should add some more defenses. Wait, that's a good point. We have these massive open doors, but what if the zombies try to climb over these walls? Maybe we should add some lava to stop them. Oh, yeah. They're definitely not going to swim through lava. They would die. Yep, so let's dig out a massive hole all the way around the perimeter of the prison. This way, we can fill it up with lava, and those pesky mutant zombies won't ever come near it. Oh, Louis, I can dig faster than you. Just watch. I'm going to beat you. All right, well, while you dig like that, I'll just do it the fast way. Look at this, guys. If I go here and all the way over here, I can set the floor to lava. It's a lot faster than and digging it with your hands. I'll just go here, and then boop, lava here. Then I'll just fly past you, Pip, and you're really slow digging, and I'm gonna put you in the lava. Oh, Louie, how did you beat me? Because I'm really good at building. After all, I went to building school, Pip. And look, we have a massive lava perimeter around this entire prison. Oh, this looks really cool, Louie. But I wish you would have just let me dig it by my feathers. Oh, this little duck loves to get their feathers dirty. I know you do, Pip. But don't worry about it. You could do the next defense. I put all of that lava around the prison. But what do you think those mutant mobs will hate? Oh, Louie, those mutant mobs will hate lasers, and they won't even expect them. 
<laughs> Wait, that's actually a really good idea, Pip. Watch this. I have an idea on how we can make this work. If we go to this door and just get some lasers like this, we can place them down to work as a big laser gate for the prison. And then the warden can flick a lever in his little office and make the lasers go up. Yep, so how about you work on the lever that the warden will press and I will work on the redstone? All right, Louie, let me just put the lever somewhere would be easy for redstone. Mm, probably right here. All right, good job, Pip. Now what I'm going to do is run some redstone all the way across this wall. How about you press that lever now and see what happens? All right, Louie, how did you make the redstone so quickly? Uh... Because I'm a redstone genius. Pip, and oh, wait a second. Why did only one of the levers turn on? Oh, so much for a genius, Louie. Wait, Pip, you placed the lever in the wrong place. Yeah. Just move it from here all the way up here. And now try oh, it. Okay, and whoa, how did you do that? Just a little bit of redstone magic, but we can make these lasers look even cooler with these laser upgrades. Watch this, Pip. I'm going to go ahead and use these fire upgrades. I'll also use these mode upgrades and some damage upgrades, which means if I go inside of this laser and put them in, this laser becomes OP. Oh, Louis, if you're going to do damage upgrades, make sure not to do no damage upgrades. Oh, fine, Pip. Don't you? You worry. All right, Pip, watch this. I'm going to replace all of these lasers with the ones that have the mode upgrades inside. Let me just go ahead and replace all these lasers like this. And now, if you go ahead and flick that lever, look how much cooler they'll look. This can't look much cooler than the can't. Whoa! Boom! That is awesome, right, Pip? Whoa, Louis, this looks straight out of Star Wars. Yep, and the best part is, if you fly back and take a look at the prison, look how deadly it looks. Oh, yeah, Louie. If those mutants walk through our lasers, they're going to be burned to bits. Yep, the best part is, Pip, just watch this. If I get a zombie spawn egg and put one right here, look how quickly it dies. Whoa! You can push oh, the yeah. zombies into the laser and it kills them instantly. Let me test that out. Real quick. Pip, don't push a villager in it. Oh, no. You know, Pip, maybe I should put you in my secure prison. You seem like a criminal. No, Louie. I only put the villager in there because he likes to sell guns. All right, fine. Whatever, Pip. But we have this laser trap and we have this barbed wire and the lava. What else should we put here? Oh, Louie, how about we put a fake entrance so when those zombies walk over here we're going to have invisible blocks and when they stand on them they're going to fall into lava Wait, that's a really good idea, Pip. Let me help you build that. You get the invisible ghost blocks, and I'll make the lava pit. So watch this. I'll get some lava, and I'll get this axe right here, and I'll make a big hole that goes all the way down into the ground just down here. How about this, Pip? Oh, yeah, Louie. Let me just put these ghost blocks all around. And now we fall through! Whoa! This works perfectly, Pip. Whenever the zombies see this door, they'll think of walking straight in. And they'll fall through into the lava pit, which we'll put right down here. Awesome! Yeah, it's going to be so hilarious to see those zombies die so quickly. Wait a second, Pip. I just realized if the ghost blocks are here, how are we going to get inside? Um, maybe we can just jump? Come on, just try jumping. Um, Pip. Pip, that won't work. We have the bobbed wire in the way, and it'll stick you and make you fall down. Come on, just jump at the right angle. No. no, it's not going to work. But Pip, I have a good idea. The zombies won't expect this coming. I'll make a painting entrance right over here. All we have to do is just put some signs like this on each other, and then we can get a painting like this and put it over the top. This way, the zombies will just think this is a decoration, but actually... Actually, it's the way through. Oh, yeah, Louie. Us ducks and humans have really high cues. So if we see a random painting, we already think it's a fake entrance. 
But those zombies don't know any better. Yep, so we can have a nice fake entrance to walk through, and we won't take any damage. The best part is, Pip, we can turn off those lasers, and the zombies can't. Oh, yeah, Louie. We should turn off those lasers later just to see those zombies fall into the lava. Woohoo! But now, Pip, we have these lasers, some lava, barbed wire, and a secret entrance. And also this passcode door. But how about we actually start working on the inside of the prison? Oh, yeah, Louie. I forgot we haven't done anything in the inside. Yep, so how about we get started? Let's make this look like a police station so that we can tell the prisoners how long they'll be staying in jail for. I can already tell you now. They're staying in here forever. Yep, 100%, Pip. So all we have to do is just get some blue stained glass and put it around like this. As you can see, we kind of have a little area where someone could talk to you through the glass. Just so that there's a little bit of airspace so that you can talk to someone through here. Oh, yeah, Louie. And I even put a sign so we remember what this area is. Wait, Pip, what is this? The poop? Poo? Oh, Louie, it's the po-po. Po is short for police. Wait, what? Are you kidding me? You put the po-po on a sign? No, Pip, that won't do. Those prisoners won't be able to tell what this is. So let's put a big sign saying the... And then over here, let's put prison. And now, when we finish this sign, it'll say the prison on them like this. Oh, you put these signs up really nice, Louie. It looks way Way better than the popo. Yeah, 100%. But Pip, come around the back here. This is where the police officers will be able to stay inside. And if we go behind here, we can add some really cool things. Like, watch this. If I get a chest, I can put some chains inside of it. And look at what you can do with these, Pip. They're just like handcuffs. Just watch. I can grab you and drag you into a prison cell. Follow me, no, buddy. I don't Oh, don't worry. I'm not going to actually put you in jail. But just so you know it's there, we have a ton of handcuffs that we can put the prisoners inside with. Oh, Louie, I'm an expert interior designer. Let me design the rest of this room. Wait, Pip, what are you doing? This is where the police will tell you if you're in prison or not. Why are you putting a toilet and a shower? Yeah, Louie, they'll tell you why you're in prison while taking a poo-poo. <laughs> no, no. No, no, Pip. Look, get off that toilet. We are going to add a bathroom separately from this room. This is just the reception. What else should we put in this prison, though? The popo taking the poo poo. <laughs> I'm so funny, Louie. No, Pip. No, you're not. That was the weirdest thing I've ever heard you say. Come on. We need to add some cells. After all, we need to have a ton of space to store prisoners inside. Oh, yeah, Louie. These prisoners need to have very tight and not spacious jail cells. They did very bad things. Well, we could make them a little bit big because... After all, these are going to be mutant mobs inside, and we need to have a lot of space to put them in. Oh, and what are we going to put inside of the jail cells? Are we going to give them a toilet? I guess we could, Pip, but first of all, we need to see what prisoners we're going to have inside of our prison cells. So, maybe we should put all the different types of mutant mobs. So, in this cell, we can have the mutant zombies. All right, Louie, this looks good. Now, how about we put some iron bars? around the mutant zombies jail cell. All right, sounds good. Let's put a bunch of iron bars in place like this. And let's also go ahead and put a jail door on the front. As you can see, Pip, this will hold the prisoners inside. Yeah, Louie, but can they sneak through this hole right here? Well, maybe they can. Let's go ahead and just replace these with blocks instead. Look, now they're stuck inside. Since this is a mutant zombie jail cell, let's decorate it to make it look like it would hold a zombie. What do zombies really like? They like brains. That's a good point, Pip. Maybe we should put some brains in some jars. So let's go ahead and get a little table right here. And let's go ahead and get one of these showcases. As you can see, you could put things inside of them. And let's put some brains in there. Louie, where are you getting these brains from? Whose are they? 
Oh, don't worry about that, Pip. Let me just get my chest out and um, don't look inside. What is Louie doing? Oh no, this is so gross. Louie, what are you doing in this chest? Oh, um, nothing. I'm just getting a few um, brains what out. Is that? Don't worry, Pip. Huh? It's just a few brains to give the zombies. Look, I'll put one in there, one in there, and I'll also put a few around the room. Just like this. Oh, I know zombies love brains, but brains are so disgusting. Oh, I know, Pip, but this is what the zombies like, so we have to put it in. Let's also put a few rotten flesh blocks, because I know zombies love rotten flesh. Oh, they love rotten flesh. Way too much. Yep, there we go. We've put a lot of rotten flesh and brains inside of here. But let's also put some blood. Because I know the mutant zombies love eating blood and brains. Oh, yeah, Louie. They can eat blood and brains all they want. As long as it's not ours. Yeah, 100%. We are going to trap a mutant zombie in here as well. But for this next cage, let's go ahead and put a mutant skeleton inside. So I'll put a sign saying mutant skeleton. So all we have to do is add these iron bars like we did before with the jail cell door on the front. Let's just go ahead and add the iron bars now. All right, Pip, go ahead. What should we put in here for some mutant skeletons? Oh, what do skeletons love? I know they really love bones. Yeah, that's actually a good idea. Maybe we should get some bone blocks like this and also some of these little ribcage blocks like this! Oh, Louie, I hope those skeletons don't want our rib cages. Oh, they won't, Pip. Don't you worry. We'll be just fine. Oh, I'll add a few more bones just like this. And boom, that looks really scary. Since the skeletons are also dead, R.I.P., we should put some coffins in there. Wait, that's a good idea, Pip. Let me go ahead and put this coffin with a skeleton inside. <laughs> just in here. Boom! Look at his nose, Louie. He looks like Squidward. Wait, that seems like it was a villager before he died. Oh, no. Is this what a dead villager looks like? I think so, Pip, but don't worry too much about it. Now all I'm going to do is put some skeleton heads around here, and yeah, I think that's a pretty good jail cell. Oh, I'm really excited for this next jail cell, though, Louie. Wait, what is this jail cell? What? Louie's mom! <laughs> Pip, why have you made a jail cell for my mama? Because I already know what she'll want in her jail cell, and I'll give you a hint. So, wait a second, Pip. What would my mom want in a jail cell, then? I know she really wants me in it. Um, are you kidding me? You know what? I don't know what you're talking about, Pip, but fine. Let's just go ahead and add a jail door, the jail bars, and then I guess you can be in the prison cell. Because you like my mom so what? much, I think you're a criminal. Louie, I only want to be locked up with your mom, not by myself. And you know what? I'm going to change this to Pip, because Pip, you are now stuck in my prison. Oh, you're treating this like a museum, Louie. Yeah, it kind of does feel like a museum. I mean, after all, you're an animal behind bars. So you're kind of like a zoo right now. Oh, just because I'm an animal doesn't mean I should be treated like one. I don't know, Pip. Maybe I should treat you like one. You know what? You can have like, uh, let's see here. You can have a single seed. That's your feeding for the day. Oh, man. I really do like seeds, but can I have some more, please? Um, no. Oh, Louie, you know what? I'll just fly out of the prison cell. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Fine. Let's just do the Louie's mom jail cell, and we'll put my mom in here. Yep, she's gonna be serving a life sentence for making those suspiciously good cookies. Oh, <sighs> fine. Well, I guess if my mom loves to cook cookies, then we'll make this prison cell into a kitchen just like this. Oh, she She's going to spend the rest of her life making those cookies. Fine, whatever. Look, let's just get some of these kitchen cabinets and some kitchen tables, just like this. Now my mom has tons of space to cook all those cookies. Then I'm going to get a sink and an oven. So now my mom can cook all those cookies. And just so that she knows what she's cooking, I'll go ahead and get an item frame and a ton of these cookies and put them all over the wall, just like this. Oh, yeah, Louie, that's making me really hungry for some cookies. 
Pepper. I know, Pip, but don't worry. You can have all the cookies you want right after we protect Mikey and JJ. Oh, yeah, Louie. We're going to have a celebratory cookie later. Woohoo! Oh, Louie, I kind of feel bad for your mom. She doesn't want to be locked up all by herself. Wait, what do you mean? Well, Louie, if I can't be in the jail cell with her, I'll give her my best friend. Wait, what? Who is that? His name is Dippy, Louie. My name was going to be Pippy, but my dad changed it. And my little brother's name was going to be Dippy, but he died in the fire with my mom. Oh, my gosh. Well, it's fine, Pip. At least we have little Dippy here to keep my mom company. But we have one more prison cell to build. What should we put in here? Oh, Louie. Oh, Dippy, you're going to love Louie's mom's cooking. But, oh, yeah, Louie, how about we put something evil in this next cell? Well, we put a mutant zombie and a mutant skeleton. But I think I have a good idea on what next. Oh, probably something even worse. Well, Pip, I'll tell you what we're putting in this cell right after we build it. We are definitely going to need a lot of defense for this one, though. Well, why do we need so many defenses, Louie? What are you even building here? I'm building a big obsidian box because it has to be blast-proof. Do you know why? No, Louie. Why does it need to be blast-proof? Because this is going to be the jail cell for a mutant creeper. And these <gasps> things are like nuclear bombs. They can explode really, really massive holes. Oh, yeah, Louie. We don't want Louie's mom to be blown yeah, neither do I. I don't want to lose my mom in an accident like you did. Oh, yeah, you don't want to know that feeling. But anyways, Pip, even though we've made this big blast-proof room, we have to put some things on the inside. So what would a creeper like? Oh, uh, don't creepers like TNT? Yeah, I know they do, but we cannot be adding fuel to the fire, Pip. That would be a bad idea. How about we go ahead and put some water in here? We need to make sure this creeper does not explode a huge hole. This has to be a really secure prison room. Yeah, Louie, there's no way this creeper is going to blow up in our prison. And just so we know this is a mutant creeper prison room, I'm going to put an item frame up here with a creeper head in it. And then I'll put a bunch of creeper heads all over so we know exactly not to go near this room. All right, Louie, good stuff. This display case is being super secure, and it looks kind of cool, too. But what's next, Louie? Hmm, well, we've built a bunch of jail cells to put mobs inside, but let me think. Wait, I just got a really good idea. What if the prisoners get hungry? We need to be able to feed them. Oh, yeah, can't Louie's mom just feed them cookies? Well, she she could, but you locked her away, Pip. So let's go build a cafeteria in our prison. Oh, all right, Louie. Oh, aren't prison food cafeterias super yummy? No, Pip. They are really yucky. They have really bad food. And that's why I think we should put really bad food inside of our cafeteria, too. Those mutant oh, mobs yeah. won't want to come anywhere near us. Yeah, you're right, Louie. Really bad food, like steak, cake, lobster, all of that gross stuff. Wait, what? You're saying that steak is yucky? Guys, if you think steak is yucky, then um, comment down below. But we won't get any comments saying that, because it's my favorite food. No, Louie, this is my channel. So everyone's going to say that steak is the worst. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. And we'll see what kind of comments we get. But we have to build this cafeteria. So how about this, Pip? Let's go ahead and add a floor to this place. And let's replace it all with oak planks. Like this. All right, Louie. But isn't this going to set on fire? None of our prisoners are even able to set this prison on fire. So we won't have any problems at all. I mean, your mom might be able to, Louie, because she is smoking. Woo-hoo! Uh, Pip, stop!
stop talking about my mom! Oh my gosh. Look, we got the floor for the cafeteria built, but now we need to add the actual cafeteria area. So let's go ahead and build a big wall like this. This is where the food will be served. And since everyone uses trays in prison, we're going to have this little shelf so you can move your tray across and get different types of food. Let me just make multiple different windows where you can get food at. Oh, this looks so cool. It's just like a McDonald's drive-thru. Yeah, except... It's a prison, so it's like a very secure drive through Oh, yeah. It's almost like school. Yeah, it actually does remind me of school for some reason. But, Pip, we have no time to dawdle. We need to add a fence gate to be able to get inside of the cafeteria cooking area. And we definitely need to make this look like a kitchen. So let's put a ton of kitchen tiles. All right, Louie, let's just put these tiles all over the floor. All right, boom. There we go. Now, Pip, I'm going to let you take the lead on this one. What do you think a prison kitchen would look like? Oh, Louie, watch and learn. I'm great at designing kitchens. Let's just get a bunch of kitchen counters, a refrigerator, oven, and a bunch of little things, like a microwave, a toaster, and my mouse tool. Mouse go what now? Oh, you'll see in a second, Louie. Let's just put this counter right here. And a sink right there. And we're going to need a lot of counter space since this cafeteria is going to be making a lot of food. So let's go ahead and put a refrigerator and a bunch of ovens. Whoa! Maybe we should have another refrigerator too. We need double the amount of food. So I'll put some up here too. No, let's put them uh, right here. Oh, good, Louie. You're learning. On this counter space, I'm going to put a bunch of stuff. I'm going to put a microwave, a toaster, a printer, maybe another printer, maybe another printer. Wait, Pip, why are you putting printers in a kitchen? Oh, well, because, Louie, since we're going to have so many inmates, we're going to have to make a lot of food. And a printer can print a lot of food. Um, Pip, that is not a food printer. That is a paper printer. Are we going to be printing out pictures of food? Oh, well, yeah, Louie. Doesn't that do the same thing? Uh, I don't know, Pip. But all I know is that we should just have one printer instead of three. Maybe we should just have another microwave. Oh, I mean, I guess we can do that, Louie. But don't be surprised when those inmates want to eat more printers. All right, fine. But since we... We have this kitchen built, we need to display a menu of all the food that we can cook here. So let's put a few item frames down, and let's put some food that we will cook in this kitchen down. First of all, though, because prison food is super yucky, I'm going to give them this tiger shark soup. Look, even the game says it smells awful. Oh, you're feeding them a tiger? No, I'm feeding them tiger shark soup. Take a look, Pip. What is tiger shark soup? Soup. Oh, it does smell pretty bad, Louie. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they made soup that smells like you. But I don't smell bad. Guys, please tell me I don't smell bad. If you think I probably smell good, then subscribe to become a Louie legend. Oh, Louie, stop. This is my channel. So if you guys subscribe, you can become a Pip Pro. And also, if you think Louie smells like doo-doo, go ahead and subscribe Wait. below. Oh, Pip, are you kidding me? You know what? I think your subscribers are pip -hoos. I think your subscribers are Louie Losers. No! Oh, you know what? We don't have time to talk about this. We need to add more food to our cafeteria. So I'm going to put some poisonous potatoes because they taste really bad. You can't poison our inmates, Louie. That's inhumane. No, that's completely fine. After all, they are terrible people and have probably killed people. Oh, yeah, Louie. I've killed people too, but you don't see me in prison. No, Louie. If you're going to put any food inside of here, it has to be nutritious and delicious. Like a banana. Well, I guess a banana works, but why? Oh, because, Louie, if we kill these inmates, their prison sentence is going to be over. And we want their prison sentence to be forever. Wait, that's a good point, Pip. You know what? I'll start adding some new nutritional food, like some fried eggs. Well, eggs are pretty good, Louie, but it's just 
a shame they have to come out of my butt. Wait, what? Oh, no. Wait, I forgot you're a duck. You lay eggs. Exactly, Louie. So, um, where are we going to get these eggs from? Oh, I guess you can be the private chef, Pip. Oh, I love being a chef. And then finally, all we'll do is probably add some cake. This should be okay, Pip. Oh, Louie, if you were just wanting to give the inmates poisonous food, why are you now trying to give them cake? Well, I had a change of heart, Pip. I'm a very good guy. Oh, Louie, I didn't even know you had one of those. What? Of course I have a heart. I'm a very good guy after all. And do you have a brain too? Or did you put that in the zombie cell? Um, well, I had a whole chest full of brains. And I, I guess I put it in the jail cell, but it's fine. I'm not that stupid. Uh-huh. Well, if you had any brains in that noggin of yours, you would know that you need chairs to sit down and eat. Wait, that's a good point. You know what? Let's get some seats for the prisoners to sit on then. I'll get some of these red ones and also some tables. So let's get some of these ones right here and let's put some seats on either side. Just like this. What do you think of this, Pip? Oh, yeah, this looks really cool. But don't the prisons in real life have those really long benches? Wait a second. Pip, you're right. They do. How about we get some then? And we put them right in the middle here. So now, Pip, all we gotta do is get some of these benches and we can put them down like this. Just in the middle of the cafeteria. Oh, yeah, Louie. These benches kind of look like those benches in parks. Yeah, but Pip, I want them to stand out a little bit more. So I'll use these dark ones like this. And I'll make them go throughout the entire of this cafeteria. It looks awesome. Yeah, Louie. These benches might be in park, But I can tell you guys right now, prison is no walk in the park. Yeah, but that, Pip, is why we need to start adding some guard towers. Because at the end of the day, we need some guards in this prison. And this is only the bottom floor that keeps the prisoners inside. We still haven't started on the top floor. Which is why I'll get some ladders like this. And I'll make a hole up here. This is the area where all of the police officers will be. Oh, so are these going to be the police officers' bedrooms? Yep, of course it will be. Look, I'm going to add some walls just like this. Just around you. Just over here. Now we can add some nice tall doors in the way so that they have some very cool VIP doors. Oh, these doors are so tall. Yep. Now, Pip, all we have to do is make a nice big room for all of the cops to stay in. Oh, what do cops sleep on? Don't they sleep on tables and just eat donuts? Well, I guess they do. So we could do something like that. How about this, Pip? You put down some chairs and I'll put down some tables. All right, Louie, let me just get some chairs out of my creative inventory. I'm also going to get some of these donuts and item frames just for the cops to eat. Look, I'll put a big table right here with a bunch of donuts on them. <laughs> these policemen will love this. Oh, yeah, Louie. They use donuts to stay energized throughout the day. Yep, awesome. But then I forget, Pip, they're also going to need some water to drink because they do a lot of running, which means they might get really sweaty. Oh, I really hope they don't do a lot of running in our prison, because that would mean we have a lot of prison breaks. Yeah, but don't worry, Pip. We won't have any prison breaks, because I'm going to design a water system, so that they can drink very, very lots of water. So, just watch this. I'll add some hoppers just along like that, and then add some blue stained glass on top. And as you can see, they look like those water machines you can get drinks out of. Oh, yeah. Let me just test this real quick. Come on. Chug, chug, chug. Wait, Pip, you can't drink water from the bottom of there. We need to make the taps. So let me get oh. some trip wire hooks like this and just put them on the side. This way, that is where you can drink the water from. Come on. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. Oh, okay, Pip, you, you can stop drinking now. Can I have a donut as well? No, that's for the police officers. Oh. 
Why can't I be a police officer? Wait a second. Maybe you can. Well, Pip, maybe one day, but you're too much of a pipsqueak. Oh, I'll prove you wrong, Louie. I'll grow up and I'll be way stronger than even these mutant zombies. <laughs> we'll see about that, buddy. But anyways, you know how I was talking about the police officers sweating a lot? Oh, yeah, Louie. Well, they're going to need a bathroom. So let's put a bunch of showers in here so they can have some police officer showers. Oh, Louie, do all the police officers take showers together? No, Pip, they do not. That is why I'm making two separate rooms so that the police officers can take separate showers. Oh, Louie, why don't we take a shower together? No, Pip, I'm okay. That's a little bit weird. But just watch this, buddy. I'm going to go ahead and add a drain right here. This is what will catch all of the water from our showers. Oh, so this is what they pee in. No, they don't pee in this drain. They pee in a toilet, which I'm going to add right now in this corner with some toilet paper, too. Because how else will they wipe their butts? Oh, yeah, they're going to need a lot of toilet paper for all those donut butts of theirs. Yeah, that's... Uh, they're gonna go crazy, buddy. But look, now we have this drain in the middle of the bathroom. We should add some showers. So I'll put some right in here. One right there and one right there. Louie, if only one person can shower at a time, why did you put two showers? Well, this is just so if they want some hot water, they can use this one. And if they want cold water, they can use this one. Louie, this might waste a lot of water. You know they have a hot setting in a cold setting on each shower. Oh, don't worry about it, Pip. The police won't notice. They'll be too busy eating donuts. But watch this. I'm going to now add a big mirror in the bathroom so I can take a look at myself if uh, I have any spots on my face or blemishes. Oh, man, yeah, those police officers really love donuts. And wait, what is that duck in the mirror with the oh, no. handsome um, blue eyes? Pip, and Pip! That orange mouth. Pip, don't kiss yourself in the mirror! Who needs donuts when you have a handsome duck? Ew! I'm closing the door. I'm going to work on the next bathroom very quickly. Don't you want to join me, Louie? Uh, I'm okay, Pip. I'm just going to add the drains to this bathroom and the showers. Oh, who needs more drains? We need more mirrors. You know what, Pip? I think I'm going to take away your showering privileges. Oh, even better, Louie. I haven't showered in two weeks anyways. Um... Wait, what? Yeah, Louie, you can't take away a shower I don't use. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You know what, Pip? We only have one more room left to build, and I'm very glad, because at least I won't have to have you kissing the mirror again. And all right, Pip, now this is the most important part of the prison. We are going to need to make the locker room for the police officers to get their weapons and armor from. Oh, yeah, the locker room where we put the football jerseys and equipment. What? No, not that kind of locker room. And this is a very important type of locker room. It makes sure that the police always have their guns on them. The police officers have guns? I thought they just used donuts as weapons. What? Why would they do that? Oh, yeah. Don't they always say, Louie? Protect and swerve. No, Pip, they don't say that. They say protect and serve. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Let's just oh, build some lockers for the police. Protect and serve donuts. No! Oh, my gosh. Pip, you are a very confusing little duck sometimes, <laughs> but it's fine. I've just now started on the area that all of the police will have their guns in. This is looking like a really cool locker room. What do you think? Yeah, Louie, but just one small problem. Where are the lockers? Well, that I'll put a double locker right here, and I'll add them going along this entire room. Just like this. Oh, these lockers look like the lockers I used to stuff you in, Louie. No, Pip, it's the other way around. It's the lockers I stuffed you in. Ha <laughs> ha, come here, Pip, come here. Where are no, you? <laughs> the viewers don't have to know that. Come here! Oh, I wish the editor would edit that part out. I don't want people to know that Louie used to stuff me in the locker. Nope! The editor is going to leave it in. Oh, no. 
and everybody is going to know you were stuffed in lockers as a kid. Oh, no. I don't think anyone heard that. Hopefully, they just skipped through that part of the video. Nope, they didn't, Pip, because they watch all of our videos all the way through. But anyways, we need to give the police officers all of their weapons and their armor. So how about I'll add some in here and you add some in there, Pip? All right, Louie. What are the best weapons that police officers use? Well, they all use guns, Pip. So I'm going to put a ton of guns inside of this locker here. All right, Louie, I'll get some guns. All right, good job. And now I'm going to give the police their policeman outfits. And what should I give them? Wait, I have a good idea. I'll give them this armor. It's what Iron Man wears, and it also looks really good. Watch this, guys. If I put this armor on, I'm going to look absolutely crazy. Just like this. Woohoo! I think the police are going to look crazy in this. But I'm also going to give them this helmet. It's like a riot helmet. And it looks so cool. Holy, your police equipment looks really cool. But come look at my police equipment. Let me take a look, Pip. And uh, wait a second. What is this? Oh, I have everything that a police officer should need. What is that, Pip? A chainsaw and a wig? Yeah, Louie. The chainsaw is to quickly kill monsters. And the wig is to make the monsters come to them. And if that doesn't work, we have the carrot on a stick. Wait, what does the carrot on a stick do, Pip? Well, Louie, it's simple. The police officer will hold a stick with a carrot on it and make the prisoners come to them. Okay, that is really weird, Pip. But I guess your armor is pretty good. But wait a second. How long have we been building for? I'm not sure, Louie. Let me check the time. Let's just walk out here and... <gasps> um... Louie, come here real quick. Wait, what? It's nighttime. Oh, yeah, Louie. That means the monsters are going to be here any minute now. Oh, no. This is terrible. We need to get Mikey and JJ in here right now. Come on. Yeah, but where are we even going to put Mikey and JJ? In the prison cells? I don't know, Pip. Maybe we should just put them in the police officer's rooms. Come on, Mikey. Come on, JJ. We have to go. Oh, don't worry. You guys will be safe in here. All right, Pip. Look, we got Mikey and JJ inside of the police officer's rooms. And they're enjoying a nice donut. Yeah, Louie. Hopefully, during the battle, they don't hear any of the fighting. And they just hear the munching of the yummy donuts. Oh, I wish I could have a donut right now. But it should be fine, Pip. How about this? Let's go outside and check if there's any monsters. We have to make sure they all die. Yeah, Louie. And if there are any... And we kill them all and lock them up. We'll have a donut party. Woohoo! All right, Louie, let's go check and see if there's any monsters outside. Wait, I don't see anything right now, but maybe we should get our police armor on just in case. Come on! Oh, yeah, Louie, do you have any extra armor for me? Yep, I have an extra gun for you, Pip. And at the same time, I'm gonna put on all of my police armor. Look how cool I look! Let me put on some of that armor as well. Pip, you look so weird with a wig on. Oh, thank you, Louie. I think I look beautiful. Yeah, you keep thinking that, Pip. But I'm going to get myself some more magazines for my gun. And also, Pip, I have you an infinity sword oh. that you can use. Here you go, buddy. These infinity swords are OP. Guys, I heard these swords can even kill people who are in creative mode. That'll be. All right, Pip. Let's go out there and see if there's any mutant mobs and... Uh-oh. Wait, Pip, I think they're here. Oh, no, Louie, let's go kill them. Let's go. Get down that ladder, Pip. We are going to kill all of those zombies and trap them in our prison. Let's just get out of here with our keypad door. And be careful not to walk through that hole there. Oh, wait, what? Ow! Pip, oh, no, this is bad. Pip, watch out. Those mutant skeletons can jump. And they jump directly over the walls. It's time to give them a life sentence. All right, Pip. Shoot those skeletons. Shoot them. I'm killing them as fast as I can, Louie. But they keep coming back up. Oh, my gosh. This is really dangerous. These mutant skeletons are crazy. Look. They're all jumping over the walls. They're super deadly. Yeah, Louie. Just try to get them 
to fall into our lava pit. All right, let's just stay here. Hopefully, they will all die in our laser trap. But wait, this is a good pit. Look, they're all just walking through. Oh, no, how can they just walk through? I don't know, but we have to be careful. Those mutant skeletons can jump over the walls, and we don't want to have to deal with them. Just keep using your gun, Pip. Shoot. Oh, I'm shooting as fast possible. All right. Good job, Pip. But wait a second. Look at the top of our prison. I think I just saw a mutant creeper climb up. Oh, oh there's no way. How can they get up there? I don't know, Pip, but I'm going up to get it. Wait, mutant creeper. Watch out, Pip. It's dangerous. Oh, it's gonna blow. They're pulling me in. Oh, no. This is really, really dangerous. There's so much destruction out here. Oh, Pip, help. I just got dragged outside. Oh, get back in, Louie. It's safer over here. Oh, I can't get inside, Pip. I got dragged out, and now I have to shoot for my life. Oh, get away from me, mutant skeletons. Get away. Oh, come on. I'm going to kill you for taking away Louie. And look, Pip, at the same time, there's loads of mutant hoglins, too. Those things are really deadly. They're like big, dangerous nether pigs. Come on, Louie. We're not going down without a fight. I know we aren't, Pip, and that's why I love you, buddy. Yeah, we are the best team in the world, Louie. There's no team better than us. Yeah, Pip, I'm going to make my way right back towards this base now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow! Oh, no, no, no. Oh, Louie, we're are you? I'm here, Pip. I made it. But I think we're getting oh. overwhelmed. There's a lot of these mutant mobs here. Oh, come on. We need to get these mobs into their cells. Come on, Pip. Let's get inside the prison. I don't think any more mobs can jump over these walls. Oh, but there's a skeleton. Whoa! Watch out. Phew, that was really dangerous, but I don't think we made our walls high enough, Pip. These skeletons can just jump over. No, just shoot them. I'm going to jump up here onto this wall and shoot this skeleton. Boom! Oh, no, Louie, quick. My magazine is getting low. I'm almost out of ammo. Oh, I need to use my infinity sword to kill these mobs now. Come on. You guys stand no chance. Oh, no, I'm stuck in here. How am I going to get out? Oh, let me just get my building blocks. Luckily, Louie's armor makes me practically invincible. So let's just get out of here. Come on. I need to save Louie. Pip, are you okay? Where are you? I've been looking around and I couldn't find you at all. Oh, I'm right here, Louie. I got stuck in that hole. All right, don't worry, Pip. We're okay. Just wait for this zombie to get up, then shoot it. Bow, bow, bow. All right, awesome. We killed it. Let's go through this way. We need to protect our wall. Look, there's a huge hole in the side. Oh, yeah, Louie. I had to make that hole to get outside to kill some more zombies. All right, this is bad. You know what, Pip? Use your infinity sword. We're going to go out there and beat those zombies up. Let's just go ahead and turn. Let's just run through our laser trap. Are you ready? I was born ready, Louie. All right, three, two, one, run! All right, we're outside now, Pip. We have to kill these mutant mobs now. Oh, come on, guys. You are not getting the Mikey and JJ. Yeah, I forgot. That's who we're protecting. Kill these mutant mobs. Oh, yeah, and hopefully we'll bring them to our jail cells. Whoa, Pip, this looks super deadly. Look how many mobs there are around here. Oh, how did this many come? Oh, I don't know. I know, Pip. Come on. Let's kill these mutant creepers. Let's try and get rid of them. And boom! Oh, hopefully these creepers blow each other up. Yep, they are, Pip. They're blowing up right now. And they're bringing a bunch of mutant zombies here. Watch out! Oh, come on, Louie. We need to fight. I know. I'm beating up these mobs now. These zombies stand no chance. Look, they're all on the floor. Dead. Yeah, where they belong. Woohoo! All right, come on, Pip. Take out these zombies. We have only a few left. We just have to kill them all. Woohoo! Yeah, Louie, and I just realized with this armor, you can kind of fly. Wait, no way. It's like we're Iron Man. Come on, take out these zombies. Let's just fly above them so they can't hit us. Yeah, Louie, I look like Iron Man and Karen, so I think I'm Karen Man. Yes! And wait, Pip, look what I just got. I got this thing called a creeper shard. And it allows me to do this. Boom! 
home. Oh, are you blowing them up, Louie? Yeah, Pip, look, I'm exploding. Oh, yeah, Louie, explode them all. All right, Pip, sounds good. Three, two, one, boom. Ow. And I'm gonna do it again. Boom. Oh, I don't want to see a single zombie left. Yeah, Pip, come on. We only have a few left. These are really strong, though. If we can get rid of them with our sword, then we won't have to worry about them anymore because it doesn't seem like as many zombies are spawning. Oh, yeah, Louie. It looks like the war is almost over. We just have to kill a few more, and then we will have survived the battle. All right, here we go. I killed a bunch of mutant zombies, and I don't think there's any more left. Just these hoglins to kill. Attack! Come on. One more. Oh, two more. Wait, three more. Oh, how do they keep coming? Uh, I don't know, Pip. Oh, wait, Louie. It just turned daytime and all of the monsters are gone. Look, there's only two more left. You killed that one over there, Pip. And I'll right. kill this one. Boom. Oh, it looks like they have been exterminated. Yeah, we just survived all those mutant mobs and protected Mikey and JJ. Yeah, Louie, that was a battle of the ages. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click those next videos on your screen. Pip out. Louie out. <laughs>